Hello everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Thank you so much for joining my video today. <laughs> joining my channel. And I'm really glad you're here. And video making is not easy, so I thought I'd let you see that. Hey everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Thanks for coming to... Miss Percy, what are you doing? You want to be in the camera? Okay. Let's let her be in the camera. There you go, pretty girl. Hi, guys. It's Sherry, and I hope you enjoy the video and have a great time. Leave me a comment and let me know the things that you love, okay? All right. Talk to you later. Hello, everybody. It's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and we are here with another group of matching jewelry bags. What I do is I put together... Oops, I don't want you to peek certain pieces of jewelry that most of it we've unboxed together on my unboxings and I put them together in little matching sets and you have all loved this series so I'm happy to bring you some more bags so let's get started first I'd like to show you how to purchase and you would just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com please enter the episode number in your email a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price given, okay? Thank you very much. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would like to invite you to subscribe. I'm not very good with technology. I don't do any editing. So this is it. This is what you get. I hope you like it, and I do hope to improve someday with some more technology and those kinds of things. But for now subscribe and like and click the bell okay thank you so much for that all righty then let's get right into bag number one. Oh, first i want to show you something this is an enormous piece of jewelry it's quite beautiful but it does have some damage but i do want to show it to you these are all gemstones they are agates and you know, I don't know what kind of agates, but they tested as gemstone. This, I would guess, is probably dyed howlite. And these pieces are jade. The others are rhinestones. And this is the necklace itself. It's on some kind of cord, but it's not too good on the ends right there. I did try to clean it. It's not going to clean. So I just thought I'd show it to you because there are some beautiful pieces on here. And maybe someone can use the pieces as a craft lot. Or you can put it on another chain and wear it. It's quite beautiful. I don't know who made it. But again, these test way in the jade. I mean, it's not like it's green uh, quartz. Those really truly are jade, which is nice. And then you have this. So it's pretty. The cord is ruined. You just have to do something else with it. So I would say maybe $18 for that as a craft piece. There's a lot of jade. Let me know what you think. It certainly was a beautiful piece in its day and it needs to go to the jewelry hospital, right? So that's that one. I thought that was so pretty, but I was so sad that it was a little bit ruined, but that's okay. Okay, so bag number one, I am calling layering dream or the layerer's dream like for layering necklaces, this is the dream of all layering. And the necklace is from Ann Taylor. Now get ready because it is a lot of necklace. When I say this is a layer's dream, I mean it. So here it comes. It is faux pearls and faceted black glass and beautiful silver tone chains. And it just goes on and on, and then it layers again there. It's so beautiful. It has a toggle clasp. There's your Ann Taylor hang tag. And it's constructed this way. It's got a layer of smaller pearls, and then faux pearls with these, like a darker metal faceted bead in between. And then it comes down to these beautiful smoky crystals and black faceted glass. And then the next layer 
is this beautiful silver tone chain. And the next layer after that is the same size pearl, no, different size pearls as those two. And then it splits off into three layers on the bottom and goes into all of this. Isn't it just really well constructed? Another layer of chain and then the larger pearls with the spacers, smoky glass faceted quartz. I'm sorry, black, uh, smoky glass faceted beads, crystal beads, and then the faceted black glass on the bottom. So how many layers is that? It is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it splits off again on the bottom and goes into more. So all in all, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. So didn't I say it was a layer's dream? Oops, let me do the toggle again. And see if, I'm not sure if Buster can handle this one, but I'm gonna try. So I can give you an idea what it looks like. Isn't that just a beauty? It's in fantastic condition. The chains are lovely, nice and thick silver tone chains. And it measures 18 inches to the first one. It's like wearing nine, or eight or nine necklaces, right? And the last one is 28 inches long. So I just thought you might love that. You may have seen it in an unboxing, but I just had to bring it for a jewelry matching bag because it's so fabulous. Okay, so here it is, and I'll show you what I'm adding with it. it you know, it's going to take a little fiddling. When you put it on, it'll just hang nicely. Okay, so to go with it, I thought these black faceted glass earrings were fantastic. They are like a square cut or an emerald cut, and I love them with the necklace. They just look great. And I like the little rhinestones around the edges. They just give that extra sparkle that just kind of picks up on the other really sparkly beads. And then I thought, of course, you have to add some pearls. So I'm adding these pearl earrings. Of course, the pearl color matches really good. And it's silver tone metal, which matches, and the faceted beads. So I love those with it too. And for some bracelets, I did have a pearl bracelet with this, but I really like the silver tone much better. I thought the pearl bracelet just didn't do it. This kind of brought everything together much better. But you could add a pearl bracelet with these bangles and it would look very stunning. So that's bag number one, layering dream with an Ann Taylor necklace. The bangles are eight inches in diameter. So there goes your three different texture bangles. Beautiful black glass faceted earrings. Blah, blah. <laughs> glass pearls, by the way. These are glass pearls for another pair of earrings. And this stunning, fantastic, oh my gosh, necklace. And by the way, these are all glass pearls as well. And just incredible beads all throughout the smoky faceted and the black beads. Fabulous piece. So here it goes. I needed a big bag for this one because that really fills up the bag. And that is bag number one. And I will say we'll do 36 on this one. Okay, so bag number one is $36. Hope you love it. Number two is another beautiful sparkly. I hope you liked my last video of the matching bags because I have some more AB crystal beaded necklaces that are just beautiful. So this bag is called, where's my little taggy? Hmm. Oh, maybe I just didn't name it yet. Maybe we'll name it right now together. Let's see. Okay, it's on a gun metal or a darker metal, and it has beautiful purple color um, 
AB coated beads with faux pearls and these lovely disco ball type beads. But what I love about this piece is that it has like some gold color beads too. I'll show you when I get this together. Okay, I already have it together. So here it goes on the Buster Boy. It's quite long. The chain comes down like that. And then it splits into the two layers. Let's see if I can get this around here. It will hold it really nicely if I can. Come on there, sweetie pie. Yes, okay, beautiful. So now you can see the purple AB coated faceted hematite color. Um, just a lot of different faceted beads. And then you have these. Just lots of pretty purple colors. You have purple faux pearls. And then they have this lovely uh, yellow stone disco ball as well. So I thought that was a stunning necklace. I love that little extra splash of color right there. I thought it was so cool. And oh, I'm seeing there's one, there is one missing on that one. Let's see, does it hang in the, but it does hang in the back. So hopefully that's not gonna be too bad because it's really a beautiful necklace. Let me know what you think. I think it's, I mean, I didn't notice it all these times I've been looking at this necklace for months, so. Okay, and here are the earrings that actually match. They are the actual pair that came with this. And they have the little cute disco balls too. And also this darker gunmetal. Now I think that says, no, it doesn't say something. So all the metal is matching. Those earrings certainly do match this necklace. And I just love it. We have more AB coated beads and beautiful and a beautiful purple color. Matching earrings. And I'm bringing in these darker metal bracelets. One is full of rhinestones. And I have to explain this to you. And one is just a twisted metal bangle. I just thought that was so cool with that. So this is, what are we going to call this? Purple AB? It's bag number two. And yes, we'll call it Purple AB. That sounds great. And I need to measure the necklace because I didn't do that ahead of time. But let's go ahead and put these earrings in the bag. Perfect condition. And eight inch bangles. One is full of rhinestones. And the necklace measures fully extended. It is 24 inches and then 28 inches. So there you go with that beauty. And um, let's see what I say, 24 to 28. I do want to write that down. So purple AB matching earrings and the bracelets and this is bag number two and i am a little bit bummed about that one tiny stone but it does hang in the back so i'll take this down quite a bit and we'll just say 15 for that because my goodness i think those black glass earrings are worth that alone so i hope that helps thank you for that so bag number two is 15 purple a, B. And now to explain my ring. <laughs> so I don't even know if when I was filming the other color bag episode, I'm filming these back to back. So I'm wearing the same rings because it, you know, I just finished the other filming. And I put this sizer on this ring because I wanted to wear it so badly. But I have no idea if the whole video was like this with this piece of paper on the ring. If it is, oh my gosh, I'm going to laugh so hard because I never had a chance to explain that I put like a sizer on there because I just love this ring. And I haven't had a chance to take it to the jeweler and get it sized yet. But just so you know, this is my Marcasite, um, what do you call it, Art Deco Marcasite ring that I found, oh, in a box way, way back. It does have a couple missing, but I don't care. It's beautiful. And everywhere I go, people just ooh and ah over that. 
This is my Labradorite ring that I bought that says it's sterling, but it isn't. But I do love the stone and my bow sterling ring and this sterling silver cross ring. And of course, my Larimar ring that I love. It's quite a big stone. And my amber ring that is made in sterling as well. And on my wrist, I have my usual bracelets plus this solid sterling silver with gold around the stone bracelet that I had offered for sale on a couple of videos ago. So if you bought it and you see me wearing it, it's okay. I pre-recorded the video and it's not that I'm that I still am offering it for sale. If you did buy it between now and the other video, understand that. Otherwise, this is the one that I offered for sale the other day. So, hope you enjoyed that little show and tell and my incredibly um, so brilliant ring sizer. Okay, so now let's get into bag number two. Number two? Bag number two. Why am I so confused here? I hope you guys will forgive me. I made a little boo-boo with my video. So I'm going to stop right here um, and we'll finish the jewelry bags in just a second. But I just had to stick this part in because this is where I'm showing you some of the jewelry pieces that I have. Okay, so thanks for letting me do that. Appreciate it very much. And we'll get right back to the rest of the jewelry bags in a second. And I also have this piece that is a necklace and a bracelet. It's called Lizzie. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Some of you know them very well. Lizzie James. And it is a beautiful bracelet which can convert into a necklace. So you open it up like this. And you have a gorgeous necklace. It's brand new with the tags on it. They go for $75. This is beautiful brown leather. And I think this is silver plated. I'm pretty sure that I remember that. And then you just wrap it around. You have a gorgeous bracelet. Isn't that fun? So I'm going to put this back in its bag. It's a brand new piece. And I'll say 35 on that one. Okay, there you go. And a few other pieces that I have to offer you. I have this beautiful carnelian agate necklace that is on copper. Isn't that gorgeous? It has all these carnelian chips and then these beautiful carnelian pieces here. And just look at that stone. Isn't that lovely? And then at the top it has copper beads and a copper toggle clasp. So I just thought that was so gorgeous. There you go with that one. And it measures about 17 inches. And it's just a lot of beautiful stone. And I'll say 22 on that piece. Okay. And then I have this real pearl bracelet. Isn't that so cute? And it must be on leather, and it just closes with that button like that. They're all real pearls. I'll show you the drill hole up close so you can see. And they are lovely, just a lovely color. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight natural pearls on a leather band. I bet that looks so cute on someone. And it measures about a six and a half, six and three quarters. And I will say, um, let's do 17 on that piece. The pearls are lovely. They are very, very nice, very nicely done. They match very well. And I wish I knew the maker because it's a really lovely bracelet. This bracelet is also made out of real pearls but they have been colored gray or they are gray. I'm not sure how that works. It has a lot of beautiful silver metal on it. I don't think it's sterling and it is a stretch and a beautiful stretch. No problems there. 
but they are real pearls. And look at that gorgeous little heart. Let me see. Yeah, it does have a little bit of magnet. Of course, that jump ring is really going to magnet, but yeah, I think maybe we should test it because it could be that the charm isn't sterling, but maybe these pieces are. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to say a real pearl bracelet with a beautiful heart charm on the stretch. Gorgeous. Maybe you'll still want to know where it sits. Sits at a seven. And I'll say 16 for this piece, okay? That's why I should never put the bags in two different places because I'm looking over there like bag number two. There's only one bag there. That was pretty funny. So we are on to bag number three. And this is also another AB necklace and it is a West Germany. So this should be really beautiful. I think I showed this bag before, I'm not sure, but let's show it again and see if someone is going to fall in love this time. So this is a triple strand AB crystal vintage necklace. So gorgeous. It falls beautifully and it is the round faceted beads that go to the smaller ones when you get to the to the edges that holds all the beads together. So three layers, and it is signed West Germany. That's my little extension piece. So it's signed West Germany right there. And it is quite beautiful, great, very clean condition. So I was gonna say, sometimes they have rhinestones right here. This one does not. And it doesn't appear that it had them in it. I don't see any glue spots or anything. I mean, maybe, but there's just no evidence of that. But nonetheless, that is that. Three gorgeous layers of AB crystals. And this incredible bracelet. Double layer bracelet. Same style of bead, same cut. And it has this beautiful AB, huge stone right here on the bracelet. This is a box clasp. And this is um, in great, it's just in great condition. I love it. I bought it for myself to have forever and ever. But it's just a little bit too small on me. So I'm going to let it go with the set. I think it's a size seven, or six and a quarter, yeah. So if you wear a small bracelet, this is a wonderful piece for you. But it was just a little too small. It'll go on my wrist, but I just like a little more room. So there you go. It's a little bit tricky to measure bracelets on this sometimes. But it, yeah, it's about a six, six and a quarter. But it's a beautiful piece and I could sell it separately you know, on eBay or something. But let's see how it goes with this set. I'd love to see it stay with this set. And these are just stunning. AB crystal um, clip-on earrings that are just fabulous. They have AB crystal inside on the top that is multi-pronged. These are very quality. All three of these pieces are top quality. You have West Germany, you have this piece that I wish it was marked, but it's not. It flows, it feels fantastic, and everything's in really great shape. And that's such a stunning bead. So we have that. The necklace is 16 inches. And I have this necklace extender. Well, let me just put these back in the bag first. So you've got your bracelet for someone who likes them smaller. Super high quality earrings. And the necklace can be easily extended. I love these actually. These are the easiest things to use ever. So I just put this on this piece and I'm sorry, I put this piece around this bead and it stays very well. Once you get it on and it has that pull, it stays on pretty well. 
and then you hook this to here. So I'll add this extender with this gorgeous necklace from West Germany. So I don't know, do we assume that these are check glass? I don't know. I just know it's fantastically beautiful. And there you go. So a top notch necklace for sure, a top notch bracelet, and top notch earrings. And I am going to say on this set, I am going to price it up because of all three of those pieces. And I'll say 58, okay? So bag number three is 58. West Germany, three tiers, great quality. Okay, what have we got for bag number four? Bag four, I'm calling Stars and Facets. Stars and Facets, okay. So this bag has an incredible, oh, Okay, if it doesn't sell, I have to keep this. An incredible faceted, hand-knotted, beaded necklace. I'm sorry, not hand-knotted. It has, let me look close. It has spacer beads in between, but look at that sparkly silver tone and the black faceted, like French jet black glass. It's a super long necklace. You can do so much with it. And it's just a stunner. All glass. It moves like a dream. And it measures 60 inches long. Oops. So let's do what we do and layer it up a little bit. So if you get the necklace on and you wrap it around the first time, then you can put it over your head again and you can wrap it two more times like this, see? So you guys know how to do that. So you can wrap it up to three times and have it hang down more or however you want to wear it, but it is so pretty. A lot of sparkle, and it's always good to have a black faceted necklace in your wardrobe no matter what. They're just very versatile holidays, all kinds of times you could wear that. And with that, I'm adding this black glass bracelet with a magnetic clasp. It's in super shape, and all these rhinestones are here. So I'm sorry, I was out of focus. So black glass bracelet looks fantastic with that, I think. And then I have some lovely dangly pierced earrings also in black glass let me get them this way and i just love how these pick up on the square part of the bracelet i think it looks great but even if you didn't wear the bracelet i love that black glass it looks super and i have one more pair of earrings they're stud earrings and they're awfully cute little black flowers with some rhinestones in the center I just thought that added a nice touch as well. So there you go, bag number four called Stars and Facets. And it's a 60 inch long necklace and the bracelet is seven and a half inches. And you've got some beautiful quality glass earrings, some little studs with a little AB sparkle, your glass bracelet with magnetic closure and this beautiful long flapper style piece of beauty okay so there you go that's bag four called stars and facets and on that one i'm gonna say 52. okay so there you go on that one bag number four if you love it let me know okay bag number five is called Leah for Mia. I know it's tacky, but you know, you know, I'm trying to come up with names for these. And this one is called Leah for Mia, or Leah for me. And this is so pretty. If you like green, keep your eyes open because this is a great, great set. So 
so I have this Leah Sophia gorgeous necklace. I think that might be abalone or it's a really good imitation of. And then you have these dark sparkly rhinestones on a silver toned bale. Beautiful light gray color cord in perfect condition. And there's the back with the signature Leah Sophia. And also the hang tag as well. You have the lobster clasp and the necklace measures 18 inches. So there's your beautiful Leah Sophia necklace. And to go with that, I have some green colored earrings. They are pierced earrings, silver tone, and they have these lovely little hearts on them, some little pearls and different colors of green. And I think those look really pretty together. And then I have this bracelet. It's made of acrylic, but it's stunning looking. The stretch is great. It's got some little crystals in between and the coloring was just great. It really ties everything together. I really liked it very much. I do see a little bit of a rubber band stringy right there. So there we go. But the bracelet is so pretty and the stretch is great. So I love that. I thought the colors all went great. And then here's a pair of studded um, rhinestone earrings just to give you a little extra sparkle. So there you go with bag number five, Leah for Mia, 18 inch necklace, stretch bracelet, and two pairs of pierced earrings. So there you go. Isn't that so cool? With that piece and those earrings and more earrings and the lovely necklace. I hope you love that, Leah Sophia. I've been looking at that for a long time and waiting for just the right green colors to come along. So bag number five, Leah for Mia, I will say 23 on that one, okay? And you know what I'm going to say. I hope you love it. <laughs> Next, I have bag number six called 1928 Cross. Now, jewelry from the maker 1928, there was a time when they made jewelry where they made it really well. And this necklace, I believe, is from that time. This is a beautiful cross and crystal necklace on black faceted glass with some beautiful, nice, rich gold tone. There's your tag right there. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a vintage piece from 1928 that is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And the cross is just stunning. So you have the four crystals around the outside, the princess cut in the middle, and just a lot of fancy gold tone work. There's the back. And the faceted beads are just as beautiful. They are all glass. And the faceting just gives them such a beautiful sparkle. So I love this necklace. I think it's a wonderful piece. And I didn't even look at what they go for online. We'll just match it up with some other pieces and see what you think. Okay, now I found this bracelet and I thought this was genius. So either it's meant to be like this or someone took a vintage class and made a bracelet, but isn't it beautiful? It has a black glass, sort of a box clasp that maybe they used and they strung up these faceted black glass beads, which is just perfect to go with our necklace. So I thought that was so, so cute because the clasp ends up being the little uh, charm on your bracelet. So it is stretched, it's in great condition and it looks wonderful with that. And then I am bringing in these beautiful gold and black faceted beads. Now these are acrylic, but they are beautiful and they look terrific with the necklace and the bracelet. Bolty, you have to get down. And then I thought I would add some sparkle and I'm adding a princess cut pair of stud earrings 
to go along with the square shape in the middle of the cross. So I hope you love those too. They are so pretty. And they are on gold tone metal, of course, because we're keeping all of the metals matching as well. So you have your beautiful little black faceted glass bracelet, your earrings, gold and black, your square cut stone, and this really nice 1928 necklace. Now let me measure how long this is. This is 18 inches and it's just beautiful. So I hope you love that one. Bag number six, 1928 cross with lots of pretty pieces and I'll say 36 on that. Okay, bag number six is 36. I'm not sure why Bolty is sitting here. He's had his dinner and everything, but he is. Watch out, honey. So this would be bag number seven. You know, I think I hear a lot of YouTubers say that their cats act funny once they start recording. And I think it's because, <laughs> I think it's because they think we're talking to them. Right, Bolty? Let's see if I can get a peek of him on here without pulling the camera out of my out of my uh, phone holder. Bolty, I don't know how I can show you. Last time we just got your ear in there. Yeah, I can't. You're just going to get his ear again. Bolty, turn to mommy so they can see. Almost. Oh, we almost got you. Okay, you have to get down, honey. Mommy's got to do this. All right, bag number seven is a, some of the pieces are from a previous set but I found some more pieces that match so well that I'm bringing it back changed up a little bit. So this is a lovely three color full pearl torsade necklace on a fish type clasp. It's a beautiful piece. It graduates in size. The pearls are bigger in the front than they are towards the back. And I found these earrings in the 45 pound box that match exactly. So I was so excited about that. I changed the other ones up and put these in. Exactly. And I think these are glass. So that's a perfect match. I love that. And I also found this bracelet that was a much better match than the last one I had in too. So there you have it. Beautiful pearl set. And what should we call this? We'll call it Pearl Torsade. And let me measure the necklace. So you've got these lovely earrings, the stretch bracelet, and this really cute necklace that measures 16 inches and it's in great, great shape. So I thought that was really fun, how things matched up much better than they had before. Now, let me see, I'm reaching for a necklace extender to add to this bag so you can extend that and have it a little bit bigger too if you need it, okay? So there you go, pearl torsade, and now I'm getting bolty hairs around here. And for this one, I'll say, let's do 27 on this set, okay? Bag number seven is 27. Oh, I did that again. Okay, so there we go on that one. And moving right on to bag number eight, I am calling Multi Fun. Bag eight is called Multi Fun. This one you might have seen before, but we might have new subscribers that haven't seen it and they might love it. So I'm going to show it again because I think it's really, really worth it. Okay, so first of all, we have this really beautiful dark metal snake style chain it's a long chain and what a great piece to have to your wardrobe you can slip any kind of pendant on there that you want to there's nothing on this end there probably should be but there isn't so you can put any kind of pendant over there if you'd like great piece for any wardrobe it's in that darker gunmetal and let me measure it while i've got it out so it measures 28 inches and 30 inches fully extended. 
So it's just a great piece to have. Hope you love that. And then I have this lovely, well, let me show you some other things first. I have this multi-metal bracelet that's on a stretch. It's got silver, gold, and the dark metal as well. It's just in terrific condition. I can't say enough about that. I think it looks great with that chain. And then the earrings. Wow, I was really happy when I found these. You've got this darker metal, a gold tone, and the darker metal again on the pierced earrings. So there you go with that. And then I took this lovely, it's a single earring, there's only one of them, and I bent the, the you know, the part that you clip on your ears just a little bit around very carefully so that you can wear it on a necklace if you'd like. And I don't know about you, but I love it on this chain and with this whole set. However, the chain can be very versatile and you can wear it with just about anything. But I love this multi-metal, all these different colors. This is a very brassy piece with the prong set rhinestone. It's a beautiful earring. It's too bad I didn't have two, so we're making the best use of it we can. So multi-fun, I think I told you the necklace was about 28 to 30 inches. We have a stretch bracelet, the nice quality earrings, and the extra earring as a pendant. And on this set, I will say, um, let's do right at 30 for this, okay? So bag number eight is 30. And in goes your nice quality earrings, super clean, beautiful bracelet, this lovely extra pendant. I guess you could call it a necklace enhan enhancer. And the stunning chain that, again, would be good for any wardrobe. It's in great shape, and what a nice feeling piece it is. So that's bag eight for $30. And I hope you love that one, too. Let me know in the comments which bag is your favorite. And I would love to know those things so I can know what things I'm doing right and what things I can improve on. Now I'm going to offer you some pieces that don't necessarily match with other sets that I have. And they're beautiful pieces of jewelry. So I'm going to offer them individually. So I hope you love these too. Okay, now first I have an amethyst necklace. It's all amethyst chips and it has a silver tone chain. There's about three strands. They kind of twist around together. It's a beautiful piece, lots of beautiful purple color and all those amethysts too. And it measures um, about 19 inches and just lots of beautiful amethyst. And I'll say $20 on that piece. Next, I have this very pretty genuine rock crystal vintage necklace on a barrel clasp. It has tiger's eye, two chips there, silver tone, hematite faceted beads, and then all of this rock crystal. It's a really pretty piece, and I can see it being worn back in the day. And you can get extenders for barrel clasps. I'm still looking for some, and they're expensive, but if I can pick up some, I will. But this is probably, yeah, 16 inches. All that rock crystal and stone, nice looking. This could be for a guy, too. I think it would look nice either way. So for that one, all that rock crystal, hematite, and tiger's eye, I'll say 15 for that. Then I have this necklace. Let's see, what should I go to next? I'm going to go to this bracelet next. I have been trying to match this with a bag of jewelry, but it just has a specific blue color to it. It's beautiful. The bracelet's in great condition. I can't find any marks on it, so I'm offering it as an individual piece. 
because I'm sure someone will love it and it'll match something you have. And it measures about seven and a half. It's that twisted metal, quite a substantial piece and very beautiful. And I'll say 15 on that piece. Then I have this gorgeous necklace that came out of the 45 pounds unboxing. And this is a piece from, I'm trying to remember, 346 Brooks Brothers. Okay, this is an oldie because Brooks Brothers, I don't think they make this kind of jewelry anymore. And you have howlite stones, you have beautiful green glass, and pieces of red coral. Isn't that awesome? It's a very stunning piece. And I really would love to put this in a matching set. But it's not easy. I would have to have the right colors to go with it. So we'll see how it goes. I'll offer it right now. And if it doesn't sell right away, then I'll keep trying. Because it's so pretty. So you've got green and turquoise and some pink and some red coral right there. Oh, this one has a little chip on it. And a hunk of red coral there too. So that is 16 inches. You could wear an extender if you wanted. A lot of stone and a vintage necklace from 346. And because of that chip there, I'm going to say just $10 on this piece, okay? So there you go on that one. Next, I have this seven inch bracelet. It has beautiful purple rhinestones on it. I think it's an older piece. It has a box clasp right there. And what did I have to say about this one? This kind of tests silver. So maybe it's a lower silver, I don't know. And I'm just noticing too, it has clear rhinestones in between the purple. But it's a beauty, it's in great condition. There's the back. And it does test as a lower silver, but I don't know how to tell exactly, you know, what number silver it would be. But it's a size seven, beautiful purple crystals and clear crystals and a lovely piece for sure. And I'll say uh, 15 on that one. Then I have this ring that's from, uh, what's it from? From Brighton. It's a Brighton ring and I don't know, I know they have different names to them, but I'm not sure what this one is called. It does have the B in there for Brighton. Let me see so I can show it to you try to get it on my loop it's right there in the bottom yeah there it is I hope I can get it because it's kind of you have to go sideways to get it right let me see maybe the camera would do better on the bottom there is a B right in the middle there you go so it's a Brighton ring they go for good money this one's in great shape it's got a long way to go. Um, it measures a size seven and three quarters. And the price on this is 25. I think I found that they sold for 35 or 40. So I was going to price it at 25. But you know what, I'll take this down to 20. We'll do $20 on the Brighton ring. Okay. So there's that piece. Okay, it's time for me to make my thumbnail, to make a pretty picture, so that you'll all want to click on my video and watch another episode of the jewelry matching bag. So I hope you had a great time, and I don't think I even mentioned how to buy the jewelry. Okay, here we go. I always forget because I get so into what I'm doing. Please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the episode number, a brief description of the jewelry that's in the bag, the bag number, and the price. If you want to take a screenshot, I'll try to back up so you can screenshot that. And for the pieces that I offer at the end, just give me the timestamp and the usual information, the video name, timestamp, um, 
and the price that I gave, okay? So thank you so much for that. Thank you for watching. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you will subscribe if you have not and click the bell so you'll be notified of my next video. I'm not even going to say what the next video is because I'm recording these and I don't know when I'll post them, so I don't want to mess that up. So just click the bell because there's always something exciting happening here with the unboxings and the matching jewelry and everything in general. So thank you. I hope you give me a like on your way out and let me know if you just subscribed and what bag you like the best, okay? So I'll get to work at what I need to do. And you have a great night or day, whatever it is. And thank you again for watching. I appreciate you so, so much. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Hey, everyone. I hope you had a great time watching the video. And that Miss Prissy again. Okay, you can be in the video. Miss Prissy says thanks for coming. She hopes you had a great time. Miss Prissy, that's not nice. She hopes you had a great time with the video and that you'll come back and subscribe and like and that you had fun. Okay, bye. Can you turn that off now?